channel. I send my peace, my love. Let's talk about this Virgo full moon happening tomorrow. I know I'm a little late. February 19th in zero degrees, Virgo. Which means we're getting a little closer to Libra full moon. Yay! So this Virgo full moon is starting us when the sun is actually at zero degrees Pisces as well. So we're diving into the waters of Pisces season. We're leaving behind this air season of us being with our friends, of us learning higher knowledge, of us expressing higher wisdom, higher, higher communication. For some of us, inventions. You know, all that Aquarius stuff. So we're moving into this Pisces season where we may feel more in tune with our emotions, more in tune with our dreams, more in tune with our, our intuitions or our artistic side, our feminine side. So we're leaving behind this masculine energy and we're coming in more to this feminine energy. <clears throat> this feminine energy of Pisces is bringing along the full moon. When we have the opposition that the full moon brings, we want to look at what the sun offers and what the moon offers. So the sun is offering us, like I said, this artistic, spiritual expression of Pisces. And then we have Virgo, which is offering us this earthly, uh, also feminine and <clears throat> organized, <coughs> sorry, selfless service caretaker. So these two energies together, we really want to not only, you know, listen to our dreams, but we want to we want to pay attention to the small details on this Virgo full moon. And I'm going to tell you why. <clears throat> because Virgo is the sign that represents um, analytical thinking because it is ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. It's thinking and it's communicating is very analytical, very detail oriented. So a lot of times when we have this Virgo energy rushing in, we want to clean things because we can see every little detail about stuff and it bugs the hell out of us. So we go and we start cleaning out stuff, purging out stuff, or we might even try to clean stuff out of ourselves or for some try to clean stuff out of other people. And so it's really important to be mindful on the way that you might want to be cleaning other people and also to, it's good to pay attention to the details because what we do in the details is what matters the most. <clears throat> and Virgo is all about to-do list. So for this full moon, because it is at zero degrees and we've been having a lot of other full moons, if you've been watching my channel, in zero degrees, this is also like a new start. Like, I feel like a new person right now. And so <clears throat> this full moon is allowing us to have this double zero degrees sun and moon and kind of take that as a new start. And so we want to relate this full moon back to the new moon two weeks ago that we had in Aquarius and kind of see if what you've been hoping for or what you wrote down is coming to life, is coming true. And and making making a list of releasement, making a list of, of what not to do. So it's good to make a list of things that you do need to do because we are reaching this Virgo energy. But one thing I want to emphasize is so many of us make to-do lists. There's so much shit that we do every day. We go to work, we pay our bills, we take our kids to, you know, practices, schools, just we, some of us go to college. There's just an arrangement of so much shit we have to do. Dishes, you know, just so many tasks. But what I want to emphasize for this video, and for this in particular, is <clears throat> because you have a to-do list, that's good. Keep your to-do list. But also make a list of what not to do. Make a list of things that you're not going to be doing. So observe yourself of the way you've been living your life of your your to-do list and realize what's actually bringing importance and significance into your life and make a not-to-do list. Because when you make a not-to-do list, this gives you 
a chance to really investigate what are some of the things that you're putting your energy into that is just kind of like um, no results or no, va no, no value to the growth of you or maybe the growth of others. So Virgo energy is all about serving others in practicality. So what can I do to serve you? What can I do to serve the collective? Or <clears throat> what can I do to serve Mother Earth? For a lot of us, this could be, um, you know, we might be taking trips to go hang out in nature or we might feel the urge to go relax with Mother Earth more. For some of us, this could be an urge to just take care of our human body more. Um, during this time, a lot of us could be starting new phys you know, physical um, exercise plans or just changing up our diets. We're going to be feeling more connected to our body a little bit during this full moon and Mother Earth. So it's important to just go out into Mother Earth and ground ourselves and make that not to-do list. <laughs> But as we get deeper into this full moon, we want to recognize the small details. We want to recognize what are the small details within our daily routines. Because all in all, like our success is not about making these big moves. It's not about making these, um, you know, sporadic changes. It's about the the daily rituals or the daily or small details of small moments collected together that allow us for success within ourselves, within our purpose, within our dreams. And so finding our dreams with Pisces, utilizing our intuition and our spirit to come into an alignment with our to-do list and with our not to do list in between the small rituals of self care of nature time of cleaning out our closets of you know doing the task we need to do but also doing the task that we do not need to do we can fulfill our destiny we can fulfill our our destiny through these small practices through these details now because uh, Virgo is into details, we tend to self-criticize. So right now, a lot of us might be having, you know, a nagging voice about being self-critical against ourselves or self-critical against other people. Be patient with yourself and be loving with yourself. This Pisces uh, sun and this full moon in general is going to be allowing us to feel more connected to our spirit and to our dreams and to our psychic awareness. So have that psychic awareness, have that mental awareness before you start criticizing. Now also, because this full moon is a, you know, a super moon, it's going to be a really big moon. It's the biggest moon of the year. So go out and look at the super moon because it's going to be beautiful at zero degrees. And it's also going to be con or no, trined Mars and Uranus. Now Uranus is at the very last degree of Aries, but it's about to go into Taurus. I'm kind of excited for that because I want to see what's going to happen because it's going to be conjunct my moon, but it's not quite there yet. It's going to be going into Aries in a couple of days or a week. To be honest, I haven't even looked at it yet. And when it does, right now, it's an, it's an Aries, but when it does go into Taurus, it is about evolution, slow evolution. It really doesn't like to be in Taurus. For those of you who have been watching my channel from the start since last year, I talked a little bit about what Uranus and Taurus can bring. Uh, very much changes to the earth and also maybe to our bodies. And so Mars is also in Taurus for sure, for good. And it is bringing kind of like take baby steps. Go slowly but steadily into the path, into the purpose. Because Mars is like, yeah, like, we have a purpose. I'm fire. I'm passion. Let's go. 
drive, will. And then so having that in Taurus, which is kind of like a steady earth sign that takes its time, it's kind of like, we don't really like to be here, but, you know, on the safe side, and because we are paying attention to these small details and these, these small rituals from our day-to-day -day lives, then it's probably a good thing that we're backed up by Mars in this time so that we're not rushing into small details. <clears throat> so Mars and Taurus, having this Earth energy that is matching this moon earth energy is allowing us to hit our task with ease and hit hit the things that we want to check off of our list or we want to release about ourselves you know like that not to do list <clears throat> and having this um, moon and trine with uranus too is also allowing us for a breakthrough it's allowing us to complete this releasing because we've been having all this releasing with these zero degree moons and so we've been feeling like a new person almost every two four weeks and so this is like another breakthrough another breakthrough we all feel like a new person and i'm pretty excited about the sun being in pisces because we get to create. We get to create our dreams. We get to create art. We get to love one another. We get to dive deeper into our spirit, our 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 psychic abilities. And one thing that you must be aware of, though, when we do have all this Pisces energy, because we are going to be having Mercury and Neptune in Pisces. So that's a conjunction with the Sun, Mercury, and uh, Neptune. This can leave us, for some of us, confused. This can bring an illusion in front of us. This could mean that our perceptions and our ideals are not fully matching our reality. So, due to this, we want to watch. We want to stay on the brighter side on the more grounded side of Pisces and I have a feeling this is not going to be affecting most of us unless you do have a lot of Pisces energy then it might be affecting you this way but because we have all this earth energy that's really helping us stay grounded and connected um I really feel like this is more of like making your dreams come true almost this is a really good time to make your dreams come true because not only that, but right now we're doing very well in our relationships with others, friendships, love ships. And that's because we are finally analyzing and coming to terms with what needs to be taken care of. Like I said in my last video, Venus went into Capricorn. So this is like, you got you got shit to do in your relationship that you need to fix like mark it on your to-do list because this is not going to happen no more the way that it used to and now it's going to happen this way kind of like that fatherly energy of you got shit to take care of within your relationship and you need to come to reality of it now because we have this mercury and, and pisces and stuff there might be some miscommunication there might be you know some communication coming out that's not really aligned with reality but you have this Capricorn energy in Venus and Saturn being sextile this Mercury and Neptune so it's kind of it's kind of helping it out it's kind of grounding it and overall it is a really good time to make your dreams give your dreams into a push and right now uh, the full moon is more dedicated to these small rituals that I've been talking about but once we get more into Pisces season then you will start to recognize what I'm talking about as we get deeper into March. So, if you haven't already, you guys should check out this crystal elixir called Creativity. It's perfect for Pisces season. It is from earthme.com. And if you're wanting a little push of creativity, you put it on your tongue. 
and this one was actually crafted during a full moon lunar eclipse and it has citrine quartz lapis amethyst and it's charged in reiki water this is made by my best friend Terani. and you can get one of these babies at earthning.com she's also a pisces so you know there's an absorption of pisces energy in that <clears throat> i just wanted to shout her out for that because i love it and i'm gonna pull the card so where's my card Key of life. The Ankh pretends new life being born through you now. This new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life, bringing you more into wholeness and fulfillment. Do not give up on your creative destiny. Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction and you have spiritual support from the unseen worlds. Let it happen. Wow. Okay. So there's a lot of key words in here that kind of bring us into this Pisces season. For example, do not give up on your creative destiny. Whenever we get into Pisces season, you're going to be feeling this urge of creativity because you're more in tune with your, your spirit, your dreams. And you are flowing in the right direction no matter what. You have the spiritual support from the unseen worlds. So you should just let it happen. Flowing is a big one because since we are moving into Pisces season, we're not going to be fixated on our own ideals, on our own, on our own thoughts, our own, ide uh, you know, preconceived ideas, whatever it may be that was going on in Aquarius season. Now we're more open to flow with the universe. Pisces is all about going with the flow and it is a mutable sign. So I really like that card that it said that. And I wish you guys all the most best full moon you've ever had. And I hope to see you guys back at my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. Namaste.